Okay, so the Wompty Dumpty Dum Center, Paul Ockerman, uh, Keith and Guy Juiced. What are you talking about, man? Makes sense. Use real words. The Wompty Dumpty Dum Center for <laughs> Contemporary Arts. The exhibition itself drew on Lagerman's notion of memory, and so there were some parallels. That's why the head curator, Paul Ockerman, chose to. <laughs> You're making this up, Kim. He's making this up. Come on, there's no place called the Wompty Dumpty Dum Center of Arts. Actually, I think there is. What? No, it's too much. He's joking. <laughs> in fact, I'm not. The Wompty Dumpty Dum Center is a place you can visit if you're ever in Redefort and are ever in the market for an exhibition space slash contemporary art research center. <clears throat> I mean, I get that every now and then. Just the craving, you know? But perhaps I should return to the tape computers. As I was saying, the device itself was very elegant. Fragile, even. One could write directly on the tape using a special chemical solution. The machine would then analyze the handwriting, perform operations, and project output onto a white screen. It was a beautiful, delicate thing. Made of black film and folding tape structures. Hmm. This is so weird. Could you write directly on the tape using a chemical solution? What do you mean, like, as a pen? That is so cool, because I was thinking, oh, it's like, you know, an old Spectrum computer or something with the monochrome tape deck that you had to, like, load programs off of, you know, into, into the local memory. And if it fucked up or you had a power cut, you had to start again. Yep. But I'm just going to run this tape for 20 minutes so I can, you know, use the word processor. Mm-hmm. It's old shit. Seriously old shit. So, yeah, the RCM should get some of those, Kim. Even one would be very useful. Though I understand the socio-economic causes of the revolution, it pains me to imagine the revolutionary setting fire to the precious device. But so they did. The felt playback experiment vanished into the fires of 07. The what? Yes, the official name of the prototype. Ah. Some sources reported as the felt playback experience, but those are incorrect. I will alert the media. Uh, why did the revolutionaries destroy it? Who knows? Maybe it was an accident, or maybe they didn't want the technology to end up in the wrong hands. Either way, they're all gone now. All three versions of the prototype. Nothing but debris and ashes remain inside that building. Hmm. Something else. But of course. <laughs> what else? You look like someone who has money. Do you have money? I do have some money, yes, but that's not what's really important here. No, I mean, come on, you need the money. If it's not a thing, he can give you some. Mm. So could I have some of that unimportant money then? Oh no, I don't have it on me, officer. I was talking in more general terms. <laughs> I'm okay. just spending time with my kid here, showing him around the lesser-known parts of our hometown. It wouldn't be wise to carry huge amounts of cash on such expeditions. Very smart. That's exactly why I was asking, sir. Well done, you. You know, you've taken the precautions. God damn it. Not that he would have to worry about being robbed. He looks surprisingly buff. Does he work out? By the way, do you work out? My physical instrument wants to know. I do some Lomantang stick fighting now and then. Lomantang stick fighting is a form of martial arts originating from the island of Lomantang. It uses slender wooden sticks for confronting the opponent. Hmm. So that's a form of martial arts from the Lomantang island, right? Actually, a great many cultures have their own version of stick fighting such as the sacred Mabolo tradition of the Harley people, a name deriving from the butterfruit tree traditionally used for crafting the long, slender sticks, whereas the sticks used in other cultures... This is one of those guys that you kind of want to punch because he just knows something about everything, and you're like, fuck, dude, I just asked if you worked out. I didn't need a history of martial arts. He does off as he paints you a comprehensive picture of the history of stick fighting among mankind. Seasoning it with unexpected pop culture references. Mm. Man, he's good at speaking. People must love him. But anyway, 
I'm boring you with details again. You were saying? Oh, no, 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 no. But we'll care. Let's move on, though. Um, <laughs> not really interested in the practice. Just want to know how often you work out now and then. Uh, that's what, like once a week? Lomandang stick fighting is a little like a Berolidan addiction. I've been practicing it for nearly 20 years now, so you could say that my doses have grown a little peculiar. Wait, what does this man know about Perolidon addiction? Mm-hmm. What an interesting metaphor. Or perhaps it's not a metaphor at all. <laughs> you got me, detective. But my history should hardly come as a surprise. Why? Dad's fighting with sticks every night after dinner for four hours. He has a special room for that and a special costume. Is your dad a vigilante? Is he Batman? That's right, Mikhail. It also has a meditative quality. Helps to clear my head. But anyway. My god, this guy might actually be a vigilante. And everybody just thinks he's practicing martial arts. Like, yeah, he goes out and he, he has a special costume and everything for his stick fighting practice that he does in the city. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, thanks for all the interesting information. I was hoping they knew a way in, but... No, thanks to you for having me and little Mikhail here to pick your brain. A very interesting conversation indeed. Pick your brain? If anything, this was rather one-sided. Mm. He did the talking. Whatever. Yeah. See, to me, this looks like a way up here, this ladder. But we're not going to climb it, apparently. We haven't got an option to do so. But I mean, look, there's a... There's an interactive stair there. So there must be a way in, surely. Hmm. Did I not open this before? Uh, postcard. Sweet. So, the boardwalk is here. Or oh, back where we found, um, the dead guy. The book woman's husband. So how do we rule these places out? No, there's nothing to interact with at all. We also have a thought. <laughs> the Wompty Dumpty Dum Center. What utter fucking bullshit. Seriously. See, there's no way in. What about down and around the bottom? Oh, there's a pipe there. What about the invisible phasmoth? else to do with the traps at this time. Bah. Okay. What is this? Ah, money! How did I not see that? I mean, the important thing is we found it now, but hmm, I like money. A hiding place, could the instigator be inside? I don't know. They could be.
So there's nothing there that stands out. Still don't know how to do this with the church as well. Like, we need to get the guys over here in the tent to, um, to bring their speakers in here and let them use them. Let the, uh, the radio thingy woman use them. But we've exhausted all the conversation options and there's nothing there. Also, I don't remember that boat being there before. Maybe we can get across to the island with that. I want to go and check out Land's End. But can we get across to the island on this boat? Hmm. hasn't been opened in a long while. You see a handle. So could this structure have been used to take the shot? From here to the whirling, I can't see how. The church is in the way. Hmm. Is there something here that would indicate a sniper used this place as a nest for taking the shot? Just some urban detritus, a bottle, and a dilapidated old comms tower. I don't see it, Lieutenant W. Freitor. I don't see a person take a shot here and hit something there. In the whirling in Iraq. I mean, there was a campfire here. To warm his hands before pulling the trigger? Perhaps, but anyone could have made this. The coast is specked with fires this time of year. Truthfully, this seems like a very poor choice to take a 1.2 kilometer rifle shot from. Visibility is awful. There's water vapor everywhere. I think we can rule out Beatable Prime, was it? Yes. But they could have climbed the comms tower. It's not possible to climb that ladder. And even if it were, why? There's no platform up there to aim from. Look over the water to the whirling in rags. There, 1.2 kilometers over the cold water of the bay, through a thick snowstorm melting flake by flake in the waves, you see the smallest rectangle, barely visible. A glowing light on the third floor of the whirling in rags. With binoculars, you would see a young woman's shape move behind the glass. Her limbs long and slender. Yeah. And yeah, I guess this has nothing that they could have used. The island's over there. Somewhere in that direction. It's, uh... This thing here. Thing is, as well, the angle of that shot there... Like, seriously? It'd need to come from somewhere more like here to go in that door, because the side of the building's in the way. What a noise. There's nothing else to... Hmm, you never know. The cryptid could be in there. Let's go back up on the boardwalk. Now we've seen how that works, it's actually a thought bubble.
No thought bubbles, okay. Just keep oh, look who it is in the channel, if that's okay. It's too shallow near the pier. I ma'am, and it's a jetty, by the way. Of course, jetty. I prefer a good jetty to appear any day. Jet, jet, jetty. Something about the way she says it makes you want to sing. Hmm. No, nah, but I'd rather say the wompty dompty do son to myself. Wompty dompty dom. <laughs> Jetty Jetty Wompty Dompty Dom. Here we go. Some weird shit. Yeah, I'm gonna say <laughs> Jetty Jetty Day. Hey, hey, oh, whatever. Jetty, oh Jetty. It's good to see you here, detectives. I only just arrived myself. What brings you here, madame? Nothing, really. I've had my eye on this jetty for weeks now, so I decided to investigate it personally. This cluster of buildings isn't on any of the official maps, as far as I can tell. That. And she's also keeping an eye on you. Has she found out that Ruby might be over here as well? How do you like it here? Hmm. How do I like it? I asked you, that's... It's pornographically poor. The street has no name, all the men are dead or missing. And is that the carcass of a motor carriage over there? Yeah. I'm surprised that woman hasn't put me to the sword yet. Maybe she will. Mm-hmm. You should ask your questions while you can. Dark eyes survey the coast leading up to Martinez. Dull grey metal rests in her scabbard. A sword. The wind is too loud for her to hear. Fortunately for you, madame. The RCM is on the scene. All right. Politics time. Let's react. Hmm. You're right to be scared. This is all your fault, rich person. You're in no danger. The working classes have no idea what's happening to them. They're all sheep. Uh, try not to be scared. This is just how the city, uh, the real city looks. Uh, the place is doomed either way. No, yeah, don't be scared. This is just, you know, this is how the city looks. Oh, I'm not frightened, officer. I'd never... Above you, there forms a quilt of alto cumulus clouds, twisting into each other. The wind tugs and stretches them over the bay. Their cloud shadows slide over the ruins of Revachol West. Wherever they pass, the temperature drops slightly, but perceptibly. Do you know how they discovered this place? This island? No, the Insul Indian Isola. What is an Isola exactly? I'm guessing you don't know then. Nope. Well, your condition has left you no worse off than most of these people. The literacy rate is around 45% west of the river. 50 years of occupation have left these people in an oblivion of poverty. Hmm. Yeah, 45% is around where I operate. Things are getting better though. I knew you would sympathize. Most Revacholians will never know what this place means. Our home. This island of matter. Or why they were ferried over in the first place. 
Remind me to tell you one day. For now, how can I assist you in this new location? You can tell me now, we have time. Do we? Yes, we do. I hear you have singled out a suspect and are in pursuit. This is cause for cautious optimism. I would not want to delay you. This story, she will tell it only before she leaves Martinez, at the very end of her stay. Maybe there is something else I can assist you with, while you're hot in pursuit? Well, I found my badge. I love you did. She is memorizing your badge number. <laughs> yes. Pleased to meet you, Lieutenant W. Freighter Dubois. I am glad to see a man of high qualification. The situation is precarious. What can I help you with, Lieutenant Yafreta? Hmm. I was kind of hoping she would take us across the bay to the island. Yes? Apparently not. Let's ask around about Ruby. Beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastards. Why does she care about the waves so much? What is it with you and the waves? What is it with waves and fishermen? We need to be out there with them. Fishing, making a living. So I asked them to accommodate me. But until that happens, I can try to assist you the best I can. So, what will it be, officer? Hmm, okay. We failed to get a date with her as well. What about the old lady? Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Have you seen a red-haired woman named Ruby around the coast? Nay, I haven't seen anyone lately. You've seen me, but I know that's a lie. But do you know who I'm talking about? This is my little cinder block town. I know what goes on around here. Mm -hmm. She's being evasive. She knows something. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. We would appreciate your help. Would you now? I know how this world works. And it doesn't work when people tell on each other. So the man locked himself in the woodshed. We needed uh, we need to help her come out. What? This isn't about the Union, we don't have to worry about retaliation. Ah, I should have known. This is yet another Union mess. I'm not afraid of them, you know. We are not in the habit of being afraid around here. But you know something and decided not to tell us. There's not much to tell. People come and go. Now, was there something else? I see, ma'am. I hope you don't mind if we look around anyway. You should look around your shack. Maybe she's rented it out to others too. Mm hmm. What about the kids as well? The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Have you seen any bad people around? What bad people? I don't think questioning four-year-olds with their parents present is going to crack the case. <sighs> Ugh, fine. And the drunks? Let's try speaking to one of the others. What about you? Okay. Don't you call her? Yeah! Don't call Abigail! Guys, don't call Abigail. Who's Abigail? Uh-huh. Abigail. Don't you fucking call Abigail. Abigail is his wife or girlfriend. 
chances are she's gone. Calling her wouldn't make it any better or worse. You're not going to get anything out of this guy. He's too drunk. Hmm. Okay, have you seen a woman around here lately? Abigail? No, not I'm Abigail. Ruby. Abigail, where are you? What's your name? Don't call it Abigail. It's a weird name. Where am I? What is this place? The man hiccups, then mumbles something unintelligible. Why shouldn't I call Abigail? He snorts and beckons you to lean in closer. Lean in. Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. All right. Yep. Yeah, well, illuminating. What about you? Good to see you, friend. Do I have deals set up for you, buddy boy? What? So what do you want? I've got smokes. They're cheap. Very cheap. I've got pills now. Great deal. You won't get a better deal on that piss. Spirits I can let go for 300 real. I also have speed. And by speed, I mean amphetamine. <laughs> I mean actual drugs. Cool. All right. Got the speed is 15. Oi. Amphetamine? Hi. By amphetamine, I mean speed. And by speed, you mean amphetamines. Okay. Yeah, I thought by speed you meant amphetamine. Aye, it's what I said. Gotcha. Good, good, my man. Now, what can I offer you? What the business venture you've set up? Oh, the system's been good to old Rosemary here, and I'm milking her like a bitch goat in the backyard. What do you mean? You see, friend, man makes his own luck, and I made mine real good. Got my hands on three bottles of liquor ex squeeze. Sold two to the fellows around here and immediately invested the profit. Bought cigarettes, bought beer, even bought a bit of speed. And look at me now. I've got everyone on my hook. So you sold things to two people and suddenly you're, uh, what, Jeff Bezos? The hook. Where is it? I can't see it. Hmm. I'm already looking for Koo now. Yeah. Looks like you're on your own hook too. Of course, of course, of course. It is what it is, you know. What it's always been. People, buddy boy. It's the people. Why does the bottle of spirits cost 300 real? See, friend, it's real valuable. Worth every real, if you catch my drift. Got it from a bit of a business venture. Uh-huh. You know, it's funny, actually. <laughs> what is? What? Keep him talking. So, what was funny? This guy, this guy. Conversation might bring a discount, no? Hmm. So where did you get the bottle of spirits? Oh, this is medicinal spirits. The good stuff. Got it from the doctor's office. I got one of those scientific ampoles a few months ago. Torpedo, they call it. It's supposed to keep a man from taking a drink. Didn't stop me for shit, that's for sure. Five lemons with half a pack of butter and you're good to go. What? I, sh I should remember that. It really isn't. In a week, the goddamn kidneys started giving me all kinds of help. Finally, the missus took me to a private doctor's office. Not a charity, the real thing. Those arseholes. Those arseholes charged me four real to remove the damn thing. But I came out on top after all. Mm-hmm. Have they no shame taking money for the services they provide? But the idiots left me alone in there. Now, I used to teach high school biology. I know what doctors use to preserve dead fingers. Oh, God. Bottle of spirits is formaldehyde. Swipe three cans of this blue medicinal stuff from the back room. Threw the snakes out and voila! What's left is this beautiful blue stuff. 
98.7% almost pure alcohol. Holy f... Somebody could go blind just sniffing that. Snakes or intestinal worms? Yeah, like, oh... Two I already sold to these fine gentlemen here. But this last one is yours for three real, if you want it. I thought you said it was 300. Actually, let's not remind him. Can I smell it first? Yeah. Be careful. It's extremely flammable. One spark in the entire city of Revachon is wiped off the map. Yeah, sure. It's like a nuke. Feels like someone set a mustard field ablaze right inside your nose, then oh. drenched it in tear gas. Your nose is a singular source of pain. But at the same time, you don't remember the last time you felt so alive. In all fairness, that might be attributed to the retrograde amnesia. So, what's the deal, friend? Want the spirits or not? I think it will pro uh, prove useful, yes. Free real and it's yours, friend. The deal of a lifetime. That's a much more reasonable price right there. Makes sense now. Blue Medicinal Spirit. I'll take it. Just make sure to enjoy that one, friend. If you drink this, then you'll die. Yeah, no that's shit. A fact. And that's why we're going to save you from yourself and store this as a sellable item. Go sell it at the pawn shop for a profit. <laughs> oh my God. In the civilized world, it's a custom to tip the shopkeep, friend. But come back anyway. So I guess you want a uh, 297 real tip. I love that. They're like, okay, so you bought that, but no, you can't just, there's no interact button. You just, you know, no drinking. God damn it. Tequila sunset. Is in a redhead woman named Ruby around? Can't really remember seeing any women after losing my keys. He really has no idea who this ruby is, sire. Are you sure, drama? I don't trust you sometimes. This guy's story was just so sad. Like, honestly. Alright, see ya. Can I get through here? Supposedly there's a place where junkies crash. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Oh, damn it. So, yeah. And this was the place with the chair. Yeah, the torture room. This is where I thought they brought the guy to beat him up first, but... We know now way differently. Uh, oh, okay, well... Right, yeah. Go look at my place. Gotta go into the shack that we're uh, living in for free now. space underneath the floorboards is dark and damp. You can barely make out the mixture of sand and sawdust below. What's in here? Nothing particular catches your eye. Looks like more reeds. 
There might be something hidden inside the sand, though. Something bad. Someone's night thoughts. A last resort. A bad idea. Stick my hand then. You stick your hand in and start combing through the sand. Dry, not like outside. Fine dust. And then something hard wrapped in paper. It's gonna be the gun. A small cylindrical object. You pull it out. A bullet. Oh. A nine millimeter bullet, to be exact. Fit for all muzzle loaders of that caliber. Like your own Vilius pistol, for example. Interesting. The floorboard doesn't care. But maybe the washerwoman does. You have enough to confront her with. Holding the bullet, you get the feeling. This isn't ammunition against you. It's for herself. On the table, you see a bowl of water, a rough soap, and next to it, a small... Oh, right, we can bowl. shave off the mutton, but no, nope, we're keeping them. Can I do anything else in the, the mirror now? Mirror. No. But the bed. The bed is comforting. Not time to rest. So a bullet hidden underneath a loose floorboard wrapped in paper. Is it a whole bullet? That's our gun. Okay, so we can't see it. In our inventory. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Why is there a bullet under the floorboard in the shack? Damn that girl. There we go. A bullet? You didn't put it there, did you? She did. Gone and hid things in there? She's usually a good tenant. And not a stupid one either. You rented the room to her? Yes. I let my room to that ruby girl. Okay. As I've done before when she's been in trouble or just looking for solitude. I've made it clear. We welcome all kinds of people here. When was this? She came last Friday, left on Monday in a hurry. What has she gotten herself into? That girl. So she was here right up until the day that Kim showed up. But we got into town Friday and had to wait a few days for Kim to show up. She seems genuinely worried about her previous tenant. She's seen her hiding out from trouble before. But this seems different. That's for the police to find out. Right then, please answer each question to the best of your ability. I'm sure we have a few. So she left Monday? Yes, early with the dogs. Around 8 o'clock, I think. She probably heard the Lieutenant Skanema drive by, and it woke her up, just like it did you. Yeah, Kim, your car's so loud, it's very inconsiderate. You must have heard your uh, Kanema. Yes. That is a downside of having a 130 kilowatt engine. It lets the bad guys know when you are coming. Mm -hmm. You boy racer, you. Is the room exactly as she left it? I cleaned it. Like I always do. Anything else in there? No. The truth, sire. What does she like, Ruby? She's good company. Knows how to talk to an old woman. At my age, you don't get a lot of quality conversation. So I really appreciate that about her. This Ruby is an old lady whisperer. She knows how to work the village elder, unlike you. Old lady whisperer. Did she talk to you much during her last day? No, she was mostly silent this time. Kept to herself. What do you mean? She tried not to let it show, but I could tell she hadn't come to fish. Usually she likes to cross a few lines, but this time she mostly stayed in her room. Hiding. She wanted to talk to her, as they usually do, but she was brooding. Why do you think she left that bullet there? How would I know? 
She's a tough one, but not violent. She doesn't go around toting a gun. You could ask her about your hunch, that it was a desperate measure. See if she thinks Ruby fits the bill. I have a possible explanation in my mind. I do tell. Hmm. An exit plan. Exit from what? A life? The lieutenant stops writing for a moment. He looks at you, then at the old woman. No, she's a fighter. She really believes that. Did she have any technical equipment with her, like radios? Not that I knew of. Though she was into nice music, she once showed me a few mixtape millions she'd made. Hmm. Although I guess she was pretty handy with the mechanical and technical stuff. Even fixed the heater in the shack. You should be thankful for that. Where did she go? I don't know. Further up the coast. She tried to leave quietly, but the hinges on that door screeched like a cat in heat. Woke me up. I heard her rushing in those heavy boots, heading up north. It's a peninsula. She might be trapped. You'll never find her, you know. She knows the coast like the back of her hand. You only just arrived. I wouldn't worry about that, ma'am. We are persistent. Maybe she went somewhere more pleasant and less wet? No. So further up the coast we go. Are you sure you would rather stay here? Get a nice cozy fire going in the heater? Seems like a better idea to me. The fell electric mural. You feel like you should go look at it again. Step closer this time. Mm-hmm. All right, we're off. One thing, officer. If you do find her, please go easy on her. She really means it. It's an honest plea. She's a good girl. Whatever she's gotten herself mixed up in. Well... I have two bullets now, apparently. Maybe we should equip the gun. Let's start getting serious. We're in pursuit. Holding the gun feels natural and satisfying. It's like an extension of your arm. The polished wooden handle almost fusing into your palm. I think my hand recognizes it. It reminds you of the day you first held it with fear and respect, hoping you don't have to use it in vain. The sun was out in Jamrock. It was so long ago. But this is your gun. It's more of a symbol than anything else. Because there is always, always a rational, sensible, reasonable solution to every situation. Sheathe it and know you have the moral high ground. Yeah, but I could also walk around brandishing it. So she went further up the coast. See, I thought it would be the building, the felled electrical place. You see a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out felled electrical R and D. Step closer. Above the mural. A collapsed roof, broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall, and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. Feld Electrical 
How ironic. All these dark rooms. Feld Electrical, you only know them as a small company that makes ink cartridges. Looks like they used to be big. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Mm. Why do I feel like I know this place? Indeed. Somehow you knew it was here. An urban ruin gutted by looters that once used to consume money and dispense warmth and light. You felt it before when it rained in Martinez and you felt the cold of the rain. The feeling persists. It has been in you ever since. Could Ruby be in there? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical room over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? 42% listen to the wind. We found uh, the empty trap. We've confronted uh, the pigs. Three death notification. What? And we found that jacket. Suddenly, hmm. all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down or gone behind a corner. You only hear distant waves washing the coast. She could be anywhere. How do we find her? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. <sighs> okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We already scanned most of the outdoor areas on our wild cryptid hunt, so we have an understanding of the geography, at least. See, that was useful to us. And then there's the church. We've already searched that and can rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first, like we did in the village. And what was I even attempting to do here? Trying to talk to the wind. The city, whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now you're just standing there with your hands fallen to your side. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? Yes. A trick for when you're out of ideas? So if this fails, if we don't find her? Then if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, tomb drainage, this place. I'm sure it won't come to that. Mm. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. Well, I have two skill points. So I could put it back into shivers, one of them, and redo the roll. Let's have a quick run around first. Just see if anything else is out of place now that we're on this particular pursuit. There's some tear. An empty cigarette. Hmm.
See, I've got a feeling she's definitely in there. Or at the very least, has been there. I would have liked to have checked that building out for a sniper nest. But if we found the 9mm bullet, it's probably holding true that the pistol, uh, or a pistol, was the weapon. Alright, this is going in shivers. And... What else? Logic, maybe? The once bright mural towers above you. 58%. Say, electrical, R and D. You know what, actually? Let's... I don't like to save scum much, but in this game, hmm. <laughs> the once bright mural towers above Yo! There's a sigh carried on the molecules around you, moving flowing from high pressure to low pressure, like that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath, flowing through it. Where does it go? In through the collapsed roof, flowing down a concrete staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs, and then the beach below the boardwalk, its winding tunnels, a whisper away. What's happening? She's down there. I think she's down there below the building. Okay. Why? Ever since I woke up, maybe even before I've been getting these strange cold spells. Good, good. Yes. Cold spells. So basically your hangover is telling you she's down there? Hmm. I can literally talk to my hangover. That's how bad it's gotten. <laughs> now, call it a gut feeling. So, how do we get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. Because there's the ladder next to the sign. We can climb it and enter through the roof. Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old, and I plan to live to see 70. Dude, Kim, 43 is not old. I'm 41. Okay. This is going to be another one of those, like, skill test things, isn't it? Here we go. A rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Some of the rungs are missing. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Assess the situation. The distances between the remaining rungs are rather wide. You'd have to use the mounting brackets. However, they seem corroded and the peeling rust is razor sharp. In addition, the first rung is going to be tough to reach. It's what? Three meters above the ground? And you're 180? Jesus. I have to really jump up. 180 seems about right. Not to mention that the roof is collapsing and the wind gets pretty brutal up there. Dismounting from the ladder is going to be hard. Perhaps if you were to not climb the ladder, instead... What? Nonsense. What if you were to reconceptualize climbing the ladder? In what way? Astral projection. Be open-minded about this. What if I don't climb? What if I just teleport? Teleportation is not a thing. Damn. Even if it isn't, no one told you. I know, right? I'm always the last to hear these things. Hmm. It is a thing for me. I can't remember it's not a thing. Hmm. Where's your adventurous spirit, Kim? This really has nothing to do with adventure. We are dealing with basic physics here. Won't hurt to try. Oh yes, it could hurt. A lot. What the hell would actually happen if we succeed this? Let's find out. Oh no. Second thought. Maybe teleportation isn't a thing. Damn. Why? Because you're just standing there squeezing your buttocks and nothing is happening. 
But god damn it! I thought I was supposed to squeeze my buttocks. Game, it isn't happening. I'm not teleporting. You're not. Please, don't try to climb the building. We'll get in another way. Yeah, not ready to do this yet. Damn. Okay. Find another way in. Maybe this guy knows another way in.